Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Prehistoric Kingdom. As you can see, we just did our Edmontosaurus Cucapensis, Cucapicensis exhibit. <laughs> yes, we got it right. And we added some Styracosauruses in there, just for fun, just to spice things up. And it looks really nice. So this is Alacqua, close to Alanqua, an animal that I hope we get in the game. Looking lovely as ever. Cute, cute. Okay, so this is the first time I played post-update. We just got an update this morning um, that added a few things. Well, okay, they added a new gate, a new modular piece, but okay. Not much is going to be added for the alpha in terms of animals. We're just getting these six animals, well, five breedable ones and then the Microraptor, right? So, new animals shouldn't come until... I want to say beta or early access, but they did fix some things. Um, so apparently they fixed how the terrain and the water are going to interact with the path, that they shrunk the hitbox of the path, so it shouldn't be as wonky when you try it. Like, okay, where was I that I wanted to add some water? Here, here in this middle bit, I wanted to add a nice pool. Okay, let's clear the trees first, let's see if this works though. I want to add a nice pool. Let's see what happens. Calm water. Let's lower that size. Let's see if this is actually going to work. Okay, this is working. Alright, alright. Okay, I see you, prehistoric kingdom. That's what I was looking for. Alright. So now let's make that look nice. Let's add some... Oh, no. No tree removal. But let's just get small bit there and oh sorry the size isn't one I was getting confused as to why there are multiple being sprung up there it's not perfect but it's pretty nice I definitely come here okay I feel the need to fix this but I'll fix that later Alright, so also, I did notice that this fence over here actually was changing. So let's see if we can change it back. Let's see if we can change it to this. This looks a bit more appropriate. Enable fence replacement. No, am I still missing something? Okay. I think I'm still missing something. Alright, okay, that's still being wonky. So that needs work. <laughs> okay. Um, also, they fixed that guests wouldn't be walking into the uh, small enclosures, the mini aviaries. And they did lower the guest density for when they're walking around, but I honestly haven't seen any guests around for a long time. Okay, the guests here... Cool, cool. So they said they lowered it by 75%. But where are the guests here? Facility is active. Does it need power? That the problem. Get rid of that. Alright, for some reason this one's not working. No idea why. Okay, maybe I'm being stupid. Am I being stupid? Facility is active. Yeah, cool. It doesn't need power though. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so we're going to talk about this at the end. <laughs> but today we're doing the Edmontosaurus and Tyrannosaurus exhibit. This will be Edmontosaurus annectans from the Hell Creek. Um, hmm, what else? Hell Creek formation. 
trying to think of what the other one's called. It'll hit me. All right. Yeah, let's just clear this. We're going to bring a lot of trees back in. But for now, get this out of the way. All right, so this is going to come here. It's going to be right over there. Tree removal off. Okay, do, where do I want to attack it from? Okay, I guess let's just wing it, see what happens. No, I want more space than that. It's going to be a massive exhibit. And this is going to come over to this way. Yeah, so that's going to connect up. But we have all this room to work with. All right. Whew, okay, let's just let's get this started. All right. I'm scared to throw down the first uh, first fencing. Okay, let me let me let, let's make an easier decision. <laughs> okay, um, open genetics lab. Let's grab ourselves the leather hide. Females look like that. <sighs> Do I want molten? What does the female look like? I don't know. I just like the green dinosaurs. I do want a leather hide. But that is cool. I don't really feel feathers. Not right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm just not feeling it. It's a very cool skin, but... I don't know. It's not really my thing. Or at least not for this park. Temperate, coastal, wetland, and tropical. Okay. So let's go back. Let's grab ourselves some Edmontosaurus Anectins. One. Ooh, the ratio is one to nine. Let's grab two males. I try to satisfy them with a, a big enough harem that they have to share. <laughs> I wouldn't want to share. Are you kidding? It's a split the loot, not share it. Okay, yeah, you know, it's so inconvenient that the day after I do this, that's when they dropped the patch. That would have let me do this in the way I wanted it to. But what can you do? Can I... Can, can I replace that? Wait a minute. No, no, what am I waiting for? I still don't get it. I, I just don't get it. Someone would like to explain that in the comments, if there is any logic to it. Just a simple square. Let's go read it here. Nope. Delete that. Got all this. That's a 
if they change, yes, okay. You can rotate it now while you're in this mode. It's not going to exit out for you. That was kind of annoying. What? Why is the grid off? I was building on the grid. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, if I make the grid smaller. Does that do anything? No? That just makes me warp set because it's even closer. Alright, just push it in. Alright. That'll do. That'll do, Loki. That'll do. Duplicate that and move it up. Okay, and one more. Maybe this should have been fence. Whatever, let's just roll with it. Alright, and grab this. And move you to here. Ooh, all right. Getting the nerves. This is the Tyrannosaurus. I don't want to screw it up. you and let's slide into that DM. DM sliding is a very important skill in life. It's like the modern day natural selection. You know, bighorn sheep, they just ram their face together. Um, lions fight with their claws, but guys, you know, we need to know how to DM slide properly can't do that, well you might as well just <laughs> give up on your hopes and dreams now. Does that not look like a right angle to you? Okay, no, now it looks like a right angle. Alright. A bit annoyingly, you know, the path is... It sticks out. It's too round. If there could be, like, a feature where you can pick what shape the path ends up in? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, no, 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 no. Path width two. No, path width three. Perfect. Okay. Well, okay, it's not, it's not perfect, <laughs> but it's good enough to the point where I'm not going to complain, which is all you can really ask for in life, so there's that. No, no, no. Sorry, I just watched The Land Before Time 2 again. <laughs> I was I was rewatching it. Really entertaining. It's a very entertaining movie. I kind of don't like the first one, though. The first one... It's not like the others. The others have songs, they're fun, they're funny. The first one's just depressing and sad and kind of boring, honestly. Even as a little kid, I was never able to get through it. But then 2 through 7, mm, 
2, 5, and 7. Those are the best ones. 5, I... Ooh. I can't tell what's my favorite between 5 and 7. I used to watch 5 more as a little kid, like... On sick days from school, just put in the land before time, 5. And then, but... Going up, I kind of like 7 better. Because <laughs> 7 has the beyond the mysterious beyond song the greatest song known to mankind and that is a fact i don't care what people say that song is amazing let's just slide you into this dm you also got to know which dms to slide into because some dms well let's just say not all of them are created equal but yeah after eight i kind of <laughs> stopped caring um yeah I haven't seen it in a long time, so, you know, this is just my seven-year-old mind judging. <laughs> but then you get, like, lame things like Attack of the Tiny Sources. Littlefoot's dad comes back in number ten, I think. He comes from the grocery store. Oh man. Delete. He went to get cigarettes and it was a very, very long line. He just let, you know, his wife die. <laughs> Who cares? No! Oh, I had it. I had it. Sharp toots need to eat too. You know, that's all I'm saying. For those of you who haven't heard it, guys, please just listen to <laughs> Beyond the Mysterious Beyond. It, you will not be disappointed. It is in the thousands of years of human history. For some reason, we decided to put our greatest achievement in the land before time 7, and it's not even a joke. Alright. This is looking good. I'm gonna do the same thing for the Edmontosaurus portion. This will be the T-Rex portion. Alright, what do we need in here? Oops, size 1. Would a K-Pok fit? How did you even get in here? I didn't click. Alright, well I guess that answers that question. K-Pac would not fit. Alright, never mind that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Because we can do it the modular way. Add trees. Oh, they have like pine trees and redwood stuff in here. Okay, okay, I see you. Ooh, foxtail or coconut palm. Kinda want foxtail. Yeah. Alright, here's the problem with going modulate though. I actually have to edit it. Two hours later. It's, oh, oh, it's kinda samey. <laughs> it's very samey. Well, that can be fixed. It's no problem. Six and a half hours later. Alright, that's much better. And it looks more organized, like this was actually planted. But, you know, I can't throw some, say, ferns in here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oof. Like that, like that, okay. Now this is good. This is a good exhibit. No snapping angle. big is this? Alright, pretty ginormous. Okay. Good, good, good. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, 
and I think I want the building, the second building, to be on this side. Yeah. Okay, more intense than that and bigger than that. the bottom of it okay maybe some parts that aren't as low oh see that's much better it's going straight along that'll be really cool this is already really cool actually all right thank you PK developers for listening to my complaints. <laughs> they just saw my video and instantly they're like, okay, we really need to fix this. I appreciate it. I know I am that important of a person. And let's move the rest. Size, bigger, more intense. All right, I'm liking it. All right, can I move this? You know what, that'd be really cool if I could just move this instead of moving this. Lower the size. Get an actual moat going. And then here, I want deep water. just to protect our Edmontosauruses. Now four meters, that should be too deep for them. Except it doesn't look like four meters. See, I want it to be Natural looking, but completely artificial at the same time. Alright, okay. So then the Edmontosauruses will be up here, and the Tyrannosauruses will be down here. Should be fine. Nothing can possibly go wrong. So first things first. Actually, first things first, we should get a second one of these. Can I add this? No, no, it's just not gonna let me. Okay, well, you know what, game, you do you. Just I'm just gonna be judging over here. Hmm. I think I want it like this. Okay, so let's try to make this a reality. Ah, uh, but no, it should be further back. Let's give the dinosaur some more room. Like that. Okay, this is good. What happens if I delete a path with a human on it? Oh, all the person is still in existence. As far as I know, they can't be killed. Not yet. So if I trap them in the exhibit, there won't be many complaints. Can I move the people? No, I can't interact with the people yet. All right, let's keep this path going. It comes out here, and then it will merge with these paths. No, 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 no. Let's 
Dang, I'm just destroying this entire park. And it will merge. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here. Great, great. Alright, this is looking pretty good. Whew, alright. Let's get that three path going. Three thousand years later. Alright. Alright. Dang, you know, I forgot to put a roof before I copied this. Oh, crud. Guys, guys, what are they doing? Get out of here. Well, the trap now. <laughs> Though, I don't think anything will happen. There's no star rating. There's no, like, security. It'll be fine. Besides, there are Montasauruses. What's the worst that can happen? I think this is okay enough. Okay enough. Oh, that's not okay. Okay, we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> we're just gonna pretend that it's all because this is an alpha and not because of my incompetence. Alright, <laughs> let's do that. They will just be humans wandering around. When they add the eating mechanic, now that would be fun to watch. So, now let's add substrate. Intensity, size, okay. There's a common misconception that Hell Creek was just a giant ash field when it was more like um, lush and wet. Like in a. Uh, what's it called? Saurian. Ah, yes, that's what it's called. Saurian got it really right. Except it does refuse to give certain names to certain dinosaurs. Like it calls its Montasaurus Anatosaurus. And the Ankylosaurus, they call it Denversaurus. I mean, I know why. It feels weird to, like, call it a certain, another species of Edmontosaurus, but most recently, that's, that's what it is. Is that interesting enough? Ah, that's interesting enough. Eh, no, not interesting quite enough. Can the Rex climb up this? I hope not, and we're gonna find out, because this is four meters deep. That's about as tall as it is. Does it actually count as four meters? Nope, it's still super shallow. Well then. <laughs> I hope they're gonna have fun together. I would say I can just put a feeder here, but they don't really use the feeder, so it doesn't matter. Oh well. Flat carnivore feeder. Herbivore feeders. Let's get them some shelter. I have been making shelters. Here. I copied them a pseudoceratops one. And move you. But this needs to be a lot bigger. Oh, whoa, okay. Let's make another. Whoa, whoa, okay. And shift up. All right. Okay, that should be fine. And now's the fun part. Trees. Tree. Tree, tree, tree. Just get all of it. Get all of it. Okay. 
high density, small size. I want to cover up the shelter because they need privacy. I don't want it to be clear that there's a drop off here. I kind of think Jurassic Park. I want this to be dense. You need to peek and look and try to get a good view of the Tyrannosaurus. Say again. <laughs> we have a T Rex. Oh. Okay, this is gonna be cool. This is already gonna be really cool. But that's not dense enough. We need plants and lots of them. that good enough see and from here you can't see the Edmontosauruses or maybe you might get a sneak peek over here for the most part no you're just seeing this all right cool 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 and you definitely won't be able to see the Tyrannosauruses from here unless they climb up and you know start murdering Edmontosauruses but that's fine now rocks uh, actually, first let's edit the terrain some more. Okay, I really like it. I don't need to add much else, this is a pretty straightforward exhibit. But, if you know me, you know that I can't leave water without reeds. Ah, oh, it just brings it to life so much. Oh my gosh, oh this is amazing. My life suddenly has meaning again. Reads. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's so good. And for this, the monster sources actually need a source of water. I didn't give them one. So, in monster sources, let's just give you a little pool over here. Removal. Okay. I'll live with it. And now for the insides of these. Now, I need to make a roof. <laughs> and this is where the fun begins.
Okay, I'm going to consider that done. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, has a lot of inconsistencies, but it's good enough. It's finished. Okay, I'm tired of roofing right now. I need to see actual dinosaurs, because look, it, no, I don't even want to, I don't even want to point it out anymore. It's, it's just bad. <laughs> you know it's bad. Okay. Let's just add the last finishing touches, and then we'll throw in the dinosaurs, okay? So guest facilities. Just some benches. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, that's better. Come on. Nope, 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 nope. Not dealing with that. Just... Some benches here and there. Alright, it's not even, not at all, but you know, I'm good. I'm done. <laughs> Let's work on this. Um, no, tropical trees. Let's just have a totally lush rainforest. Just like that. Oh no. Like that. Yes. Okay. I want them to feel like they're walking in a jungle. This is a continuation of the exhibit. What are the no oh, no 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 like that? That is good. Oh. Barely see the path. Nope, it's it's buried. It's gone. This would be so fun to walk down. Oh, let me just teleport through. Okay. This is cool. Come on. This don't tell me this isn't cool. It's so thick, it's like a wall. It's a wall of vegetation. Okay, if only I can go to the zoo. Why can't I go to this? But, what you've been waiting for? Let's get the actual dinosaurs in. It's about time you got here! Alright, nursery status. Kosuke. What kind of name is Kosuke? Alright, 
let's release the Tyrannosauruses. Yeah, they're about appropriate size for something like this. Invalid placement. Okay, there you go. How big are these Edmontosauruses? Release. Yes, okay. See, Edmontosaurus is super underrated. It is the size of the T-Rex. This thing was not to be messed with. Look, it's they're about the same size, and I like that. The scaling is actually right. It was no pushover like it usually is in these games. And JPOG and an evolution, they don't do anything. They just stand around and get eaten. Alright, select all. But they're gonna go on the top part. <laughs> okay, it's the human centipede of Edmontosaurus right now, but let's look up. let's not focus on that. Oh. Okay, hold on. Let's get this view. Man. Dang. They're just so giant. Just walking houses. These are like the sauropods of Hell Creek. Now, this is Edmontosaurus Anectins, which used to be called a bunch of names like Anatotitan, Anatosaurus, a couple of other things. But now we finally settled that. It's Edmontosaurus Anectins. This is so cool. Just imagine you're a kid standing right here and you see this. Hey, buddy, there's no grass or anything to graze there. You're kind of just, you know, whatever. You're making a fool of yourself in Montasaurus. Does anyone else see, like, there's this kind of weird motion blur happening? I'll have to see if that's a setting I can turn off, but. It's very strange. Oh, she's so cool. Dang, this is epic. This is so epic. No, don't leave me. I want to play with you. No. Oh, look, hey, there's the cloaca. Alright, well, they did a very nice job detailing this dinosaur. Good job, guys. Blue Meridian. Really put all your heart and soul into that cloaca. Let's see. Oh, you're going a little wonky, but wow. This male is super vibrant. The hue and the vibrancy, the brightness of each animal, along with the size, is randomized whenever you breed one. Which is nice. It gives them variation, so they're much more interesting to look at, not just carbon copies of each other. Dang, that blue looks so nice on there, though. Oh, man, you're okay. Wait, how does this look? Oh, oh, no, please ignore the wall in Montasaurus. Now let's look at the Tyrant Lizard King. And he's right here. What the heck? Hold up. What? No, not you are. What are you doing here? Get out. Get out of here. Go away. Something tells me that this isn't going to work. Nope, this isn't going to work. Alright. They're just Edmontosaurus and the T-Rex is sleeping in the hill. Great, great. This is not working out the way I expected it to. Oh, and this is ultra weird now, just kind of floating. Okay, maybe I just need to put a wall of rocks. Actually, do they clip through rocks? Maybe they don't read rocks. Well, at least Edmontosaurus is... Oh, they read... Okay, you read the tree. Will you interact with the Edmontosaurus? Nope, the Edmontosaurus is sleeping. That's nice. Oh. <laughs> I 
This is like one of those lion and the lamb scenarios you read about in the Bible. The T Rex and the Amatosaurus are friends. Oh, he's sleeping. Dang, they even have like scars or scratches, or you know, just skin. See the skin. You can even see the individual scales. They're not super high definition, but it's still really cool. It's just, you know, a very big animal that we don't get to see that clips through trees. <laughs> it's not a monster, it's just an animal. An animal that might decide to eat you, but, you know, it's still an animal. Okay, maybe this has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> This is not the way I expected this exhibit to go. I'll need to try to fix this some other time. Right now, let's look at the female. Where where is she? Uh, okay. And she just submerged herself. Well, you know, if I had to see this exhibit design too, I would just drown myself. I mean, this is supposed to be the Montasaurus side, and this should be the T-Rex side, but I guess they don't really care. Thankfully, they don't eat each other yet. Alright, so now let's talk about the elephant in the room. This was going to be a coliseum. I was going to take two Cyracosauruses, put them in this coliseum, build it up to look, make it look like a coliseum, and it was going to be great. But, if you watch other dinosaur YouTubers, you would know that Best in Slot just did a Colosseum, but with Nasutoceratops, so it's not exact. Um, I don't think I didn't talk about it in this video, so of course I'm not going to accuse him of like, stealing my ideas. I'm not that big of a channel, let's be honest. But, should I still do this? Maybe I could do it better, or do it in a different style, so at least it's original and it's mine but you know a big name already did this and I don't want to make it look like I'm stealing his idea even though this has been here for two episodes now I want to say so obviously I intended to do this for a very long time I didn't see his video it didn't come out until today I still haven't seen it I didn't watch it I just saw the notification because great minds think alike and when you see a horned dinosaur, you just want to have it do a gladiator duel with another one. It's in our nature to watch things kill each other. So, I don't really know. I'll figure it out. Or, you know, I'll try to find some way that I can make it, like, an original design and make it look unique to his. So that way, you know, you can watch both of them, both of our videos, and you're not suffering from fatigue. Like, oh, I just saw this already. No, no, it'll be, like, different, and you'll enjoy both of them. I do like the way this looks from above, though. It's really nice. I mean, I say tooting my own horn. <laughs> Most of this series is just me tooting my own horn, saying how great I am. But someone's gotta acknowledge it, because clearly, the world is missing out. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to please leave a like, subscribe, and check out my social media. See you next time.